All right, guys. This is going to be a video on um, restoring a Nandroid backup uh, that you've made with Bootstrap Recovery for the Droid X2. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our app drawer and we're going to find our uh, System Recovery app down here, which is Bootstrap Recovery. We're going to hit it. All right. We're going to go through the steps right here, which tells you about and how to do it. So it says first. Uh, Make sure your phone is root, which we have. Um, click install button, recovery button. So install recovery. All right, that's done. We're going to, uh, it says next, um, connect your charger right here and plug that in. And then next hit the recovery mode. All right, so once you have a backup in your phone, you can do this. Um, <clears throat> Bootstrap Recovery works for all the custom ROMs that are out right now except for CM7 and CM9. CM7 and CM9 have Bootstrap Recovery also, but you have to have the patched Bootstrap Recovery. All right, You have to install that recovery system when you install that ROM. If you don't use the patched one, you're going to boot loop when you try to use the Bootstrap Recovery utility which loads clockworks mods so let's see here it's gonna load up clockwork mod recovery here in a second and I'll show you guys how to do this alright so here's your screen um, for scrolling through your options it's the up and down volume buttons for selecting it's the power button okay alright so what we're gonna do is first I'm gonna show you if you wanna do a backup you scroll down here to backups you hit the button you pick internal or external SD card where you want it to back up to I like the external and you hit it and then if you want to do a backup you select backup alright so that's how you do a backup it'll run a backup and then you can reboot and you have a backup now if you want to restore we're gonna go back alright so here we'll go back to backup and restore and you hit you select it with the top button and then my backups are on my external card, so I'm going to select external. And then, so to restore a backup. So now I have a backup of, let's say, my stock ROM or a different, uh, a different ROM that I have on there. So you would go to, um, also, a really quick note. If you have, like, custom ROM on there, recommended before restoring to another one, go ahead and do a backup of it. That way, if you ever want to go back to it, you can install the backup and you don't have to flash and install the whole thing and restore all your data and everything because in Android what it does is it actually um, re it's a system image basically of your entire phone so it's your it's your data your passwords your um, you know all the apps you've downloaded your uh, your uh, catch your catch full file your uh, Delvetch catch um, all that stuff's in there so when you restore it you're exactly at the point where you were when you took the backup so I like it if I put a custom ROM on there I'll make a backup of that custom ROM so I always can restore it so if we're like going back to, to our stock backup that we backed up originally before we flashed any ROMs we'd go to restore all right now these are a list of ROM uh, backups that I have on my phone um, so right here is this at this point I just put like a folder in there so that it kind of reminds me where I am on different uh, backups because every backup is stored by the date, not the name of the ROM. So you kind of have to keep track of what, you know, the dates so that you know what ROM it is or you have to rename the backup. But if you do that wrong, the backup could be like uh, bad. It won't, the it won't pass the uh, MD5 uh, check. So um, I put just folders in in the backup folder and then I write the name of the ROM and the date so I know anything between these dates is this anything between those dates is that so I don't actually adjust the uh, actual backup name because because uh, it can mess things up so this is a backup I have right here of uh, CM9 so if you want it you pick that one and you hit the top button we're gonna restore and then you scroll down here to Actually, before we restore, we're going to go back. Here's what I like to do before I restore. 
just so you guys see it. Um, because I want to just get a new clean slate before I restore something, I'll go in here and I will do a wipe data factory reset. Select on the top and then scroll down to yes and it says delete all user data. And then select yes. So this is going to format your data that's on your current ROM right now and format your catch and um, and do all that and then I'll go in here and I'll format um, catch again catch partition wipe cache and we'll do that so that's done lastly I'll go to advanced settings down here and I will hit that and then I will go to wipe delvic at cache and we'll do that one we'll scroll down all right, so now you have a clean slate, basically. It cleaned off all the all your personal data. Now you can do a restore, and it'll it'll rewrite whatever you had at the time you created that backup. So we'll go down. We'll we'll go to um, go back to our main menu. So we'll go to backup and restore external because that's where my backups are, like I told you. And then we'll do restore, and then I'll pick the date. And this date right here is my CM9 ROM that I put on here and we'll do a restore and then we'll go down to yes restore now it's going to restore me back to this backup first thing it does is it like I was telling you earlier is it checks the MD5 sum so it makes sure that the backup matches um, the, the, the check um, so that there's nothing been edited or changed on the backup so it's a good backup um, once it does that it's going to flash it this is process is going to take you about 10 minutes so we will come back to it um, when when it's done and we'll reboot the phone and show you what happens all right so we have restored here completely and uh, this is where it comes up to once the restore is done um, so all we have to do from here is say reboot system now which is your top option and just select it all right so our reboot now could take up to five minutes because it has to rewrite your uh, Delvic cache and your normal cache. So um, it's a little bit of a long reboot, but uh, we'll show you and you'll probably have the CM9 boot animation, which is pretty cool. So we'll watch it reboot. Um, so here's, a, here's a, the most important thing with the Droid X2 and bootstrap recovery, okay? Most important thing is if you're on a stock ROM or you're on basically any ROM except CM7 and CM9, you can use the normal bootstrap recovery. Okay? If you're on CM7 or CM9, you have to use the patched bootstrap recovery. I will put links to both of those in the video um, so that you'll have them, but you have to have the right recovery for the ROM you're using. If you use the wrong recovery in CM7 or CM9, what will happen is you'll boot into Bootstrap, and I think it'll do it the first time, but then when you reboot out of Bootstrap to reboot the phone, it's gonna do a boot loop, and you're gonna basically end up having to probably SBF your phone back to back factory stock and start over. So, um, just really important that you have the patched Bootstrap recovery when you use uh, CM9 or CM7. All right, I will have links to both of those recovery systems and I'll, I'll mark them for you so that uh, one's the patched and one is the normal. And I'll put them in the description so you guys have them. Here we go. There's your CM9 boot animation, which looks really freaking cool. And let's see. Should boot up. I can say the boot on this. Oh, there it goes. All right. So here we are. Now this is my backup. All right. Now it's saying activate phone because I don't use this phone, so it doesn't. It's it's uh it's never been activated. So my backup was a non-activated phone. Um. So this is normal for me. But all my personal data is saved in here, and you'll see for this Android. We'll open it up. You can see that it's totally attuned to what I've installed on here. Um, again, apps, you know, you got Angry Birds, everything got saved, all my settings are saved. Um, 
so you can see how this works. I use this thing as a free Wi-Fi phone for my house, basically. I have a Droid uh, Bionic, but so that's it. That's your Android. You restored it, and uh, you're good to go. That's how you would restore an Android backup. Thanks, guys.